Welcome to Warn, today's news is. China's unveils more copycat military equipment. In recent years, China has unveiled the J-20, a fourth-generation fighter jet that was based off of stolen American designs for the F-22, as well as the J-31, which bears a striking resemblance to the F-35, because its design was stolen as well. Now, China's People's Liberation Army has unveiled a design for their latest naval vessel, a frigate that, once again, looks awfully familiar. I came across a new Chinese ship design which was on display at the IDEX 2017 arms show in Abu Dhabi, and is set for construction through the China Shipbuilding Trading Company. Its three hull trimaran design bears a striking resemblance to the United States littoral combat ship, the Independence class frigates. China, however, has made some modifications to the design, stretching it 50 additional feet, increasing the crew, and adding more heavy weapons. The trade-off in size and weight does come at a price however, the data accompanying the design display indicated that China's new ship would be capable of sustaining a cruising speed of 25 knots, with short sprints reaching up to 35. American Independence class littoral frigates can reach maximum speeds of better than 45 knots. The ship displaces 2,450 tons and has a length of 465 feet. The ship is powered by diesel engines powering an electric propulsion system, giving it a cruising speed of 25 knots and the ability to sprint between 30 and 35 knots. It has a crew of more than 100. The ship is impressively armed for its small size, packing a 76mm gun in the bow, with a field of 16 or 32 vertical launch missile silos behind it. It also has two box launchers of four anti-ship missiles each, two 30mm close-in weapon systems, and a pair of decoy rocket launchers for deflecting incoming missiles. The ship is built to support up to two helicopters with two hangars and a large helicopter landing pad. Trimaran hulls offer increased stability in high seas and wider hulls to accommodate side-by-side -side aircraft hangars. This suggests that aviation both manned and unmanned is going to be a bigger part of the Chinese Navy's surface fleet of the future. Thanks for watching. Please like and share. Please comment your opinion for this news. Press subscribe button for auto update to you regarding my channel world action and reaction news, warn.